You know, the number one thing students really want in an online class is feedback. They want some sense of encouragement. And so we do this by having students have critical friends who give each other feedback, by making sure that we give quick turnaround on student papers and we have interactivity set up every time a student posts something, they give feedback to somebody else. It's also very important for uh, successful teachers to uh, be gentle with their words when they uh, give a feedback to the students. Black and white in uh, writings could uh, give a different meanings because we don't see students' uh, face, we don't see their body gestures. There's a body language that speaks to students. I'm very responsive to a student email. Uh, it's critical. If you give them that opportunity uh, that you live up to your end of the deal and uh, pay attention to your email, check your email. There's nothing more frustrating uh, and, and there's no quicker way to lose a student or, or get them on your bad side uh, than not being responsive to them, especially in this environment. You don't have to do it immediately, but you have to respond uh, within the parameters you've set for your course. In my syllabus, it's really clear that I'll respond within 24 hours, but I'm not like the course management system online 24 seven anymore. I used to be and that nearly killed me <laughs> and it made me not like my job so much. So it's okay to let them wait, to let them wrestle with a question for a while. And, and the nicest treat is when I wake up in the morning, check my email and they say, oh, I got it. I figured it out. I can do this. Never mind. sorry to bother you. I think if uh, faculty if they are polite in the way they respond to uh, our emails or uh, inquiries, um, it will be good. So if you ask me what they should avoid, they should avoid uh, short answers directing us, look at, maybe you ask a question to the teacher, the teacher redirects you uh, to technical assistance or the teacher says, uh, uh, go to frequently asked questions. Before we come to the teacher asking a question, we must have read the frequently asked questions and he or she was like our last resort. And when you don't get an answer to it and you are sent back to frequently asked questions, you sometimes just abandon it and you lose some points you could have easily got.